Hi and welcome to Outdoor World Direct. Today we're going to take a look at the new Van Gogh Gowie CC awning which is new for 2023. You might recognise the Gowie awning, it's been in the Van Gogh collection for quite a while. However, this is a new version of it. So you might be wondering what the CC stands for. It stands for closed canopy. Essentially it allows you to unzip this canopy and leave it open as we have done here. Or we can close this canopy off. So as you can now see, we've now been able to completely enclose this front space. So the original galleys are still in the collection and if you see those, so you might have one in the TC and there's one in the 420 denier fabric, those have an open front. So that's the difference with the CC, essentially we can close off this front canopy area. So the Gowie CC is part of the Sentinel Active range of driveway awnings from Van Gogh. Sentinel Active is the entry level fabric, so it's 70 denier fabric, so it's thinner. That means it's more ideal for those that are looking to save on the weight and the pack size. So the weight of this awning is 20.5 kilos and the pack size is 75 by 41 by 41 centimetres. That 70 denier fabric is perfect for those types of people that are maybe touring. They want a really nice large spacious awning like this but they don't want the heavy weight of a 420 denier fabric or a cotton fabric. The downsides of a lightweight fabric are pretty obvious really. It's not going to last as long as say perhaps the 420 denier or the cotton but it is going to be perfect for those that just want a lightweight awning to throw up on the van. So the galley collection, what you'll notice with the galley is that the connecting panel is actually to the side of the awning. This allows you to park your van parallel to the awning which is great on a campsite pitch because it will allow you to maximise the space on the pitch. It will also mean that you need to be careful where your habitation door is situated. If you have a VW California where it's on the driver's side, you could still use this awning but your vehicle is going to be facing the other way. So it's not always ideal. It's more ideal really if your habitation door is on the passenger side of the vehicle. That way the vehicle and the awning are both working the same way, which is dead ahead. So with the Gowie CC, we make it in both a low and a tall awning. Now we're looking at a tall right now. And what are these differences? Well, the low, the awning, let's start with the awning. The awning never changes. So whether it's a low or a mid or a tall, it's, it's doesn't matter this on in here will always stay the bit that does change is this bit which is your connecting panel now we make them in different heights to fit different vehicles so the low fits something like a vw or that type of area of camper van so that the low would essentially stop around here and it fits 180 to 210 centimeters tall that's perfect for any low camper van height really. Now the one we're looking at right now, this is a tall, this is really designed for like your motorhomes and that kind of area. So essentially what you'd do is you'd wind that, that wind out awning on the side of a motorhome down and connect the connecting panel to it using the K-door strip and then you'd wind it back up and there you've got your full height. So they're the two heights we make it in. We make it in a low, low is for camper vans, we make it in a tall, tall is typically for motorhomes. The connecting panel itself has got one of these doors in either side, so this is to make it more convenient for getting into the van without disturbing anybody that might be in there. We also have some tension straps at the top here so that if you have got a bit of a sag or a bit of a um, too much fabric you can actually tension it down to create a better fit and then this just tensions down the side of the van and pegs at the base. So the Gowie CC offers us a great free zone design. What I mean by free zones is we can actually add a two or a four person inner to the rear here, which I would class as a zone. So that might be ideal for sleeping, um, that kind of thing. Then in this living space, we've got storage space. You can use it as living space and put a table and chairs in here. And then to the front, you've got this front auxiliary space that might be ideal for cooking if the weather's bad. You can open the canopy up so you've got some breathability in here. You could also do that. It's also, again, a nice place to sit if it's a nice evening and have a drink while the world goes by. In this living space it's fully sewn in. We've got mesh windows here and here which again can be covered by toggled curtains. You have two windows here which again allow toggled curtains to cover them if you want some more privacy. It's a full air beam design so every single beam on this is, is inflatable which makes it really quick and simple to pitch. Then we have the tension band system for use in windier conditions. If the conditions are calm, there's no need to have these bands done. It's just a simple storm strap that comes up from the pegging point 
in the middle and all up here just to give it more structure and stability. On the right hand side you've got your door which leads into your van. So whether you've got a camper van or a motorhome, this is the door that you'd go through to get into that. So taking a quick look at the awning from this angle, we'll see that we've got windows here to give it more light in. Again, these are closable with curtains in these two. This front porch area, there are no curtains to close these off because it's considered an auxiliary space. We don't put curtains in here to close these windows off. They're always going to be visible to the rest of the campsite. In these windows, because it's more of a private living space here, you can close them off with the curtains. Your inflation points are always in the middle. They're always in a great place to get to. They're dead easy to get to. And essentially, you just inflate each beam individually to, to inflate the awning. And again, when you come to take the awning down, you just open each beam so the air can come out of, of the awning. The pump is also supplied with the awning. It will be rolled in the middle of the awning when you receive it. So to conclude, the Gary CC is part of the Sentinel Active Collection of awnings, so it's the lighter weight touring awning that we do. The Gowie is the largest awning in the Van Gogh collection. This CC allows you to half open or fully close this door, or you can fully open it as well. Uh, we do this awning in a row which weighs 20.5 kilograms, and we do it in a tall which weighs 20.7 kilograms. So there's 20 grams difference between the two height sizes. Just for the additional fabric on the connecting panel. We've kind of got three zones in here. You can add sleeping compartments if you wish to the awning. You also have a large living space with a sewn in ground sheet and you've got this auxiliary front area. You can get optional extras such as the two or four person inner. We've also got a carpet for this which allows it to have a bit more warmth inside. And then you've got an optional ground sheet which sits underneath the awning called the footprint. The footprint's one of the most important allow the awning to be packed away clean and dry at the end of use and also it will protect that sewing ground sheet from any accidental damage or if you're on a hard standing pitch where you've got gravel underneath the awning which could pierce this sewing ground sheet. You've got mesh ventilation throughout the awning with uh, mesh windows and a mesh front door also. The access of this one is to the side so the connecting panel is always going to be on the side so it's more ideal for vans with the habitation door on the passenger's side. Overall this is a great awning. We also do it in thicker fabrics as well so if you're not quite sure which might be best for you. This is the lightweight touring one. We then do it in the 420 denier as well, which is much stronger, thicker fabric. And we also do it in a TC.